The word of God is not the canonized book where you have so much books and different accounts of different disciples. Like it's not just the four disciples, right? The Council of Nicaea in a bid to align with Constantinople's plans. It's very sad that a lot of people don't acknowledge this or, or really do research into this heavily edited why the Bible is there and the way it is. The reason why the book of Enoch, which was read very commonly, isn't there now because a lot of things went against their political agenda. A lot of things went against what they wanted you to understand about how to see the doctrine and gospel. But personally, if we just talk about astrology, people who have an understanding of astrology will know that astrology is literally all over the Bible. Mm -hmm. Genesis, the first chapter of Genesis literally says that Genesis 1, 14, 15, 16, that God set the stars and the signs. God set the two lights, the two lights in the sky for the stars and the signs. And he saw that it was good. That is literally astrology. I wanted you to um, break that down because I remember you saying that in the video and on the surface level, you know, and I think being in a position of someone, put yourself in a position of someone who is trying to find, you know, trying to follow the Bible as best as they can. They yeah. get these scriptures and they, and they understand it that way. It, it seems like it's really clear when it says don't follow these things, right? If you see a scripture that says, you know, don't touch that, it's like, okay, I won't touch that. So right. in that sense, and you know, someone from that perspective reading something like that and then seeing it in the world, they think that they're making a connection. So I think it's fair for them right. to understand that, right? But that yeah. scripture, when you say the stars are the signs, now I'm thinking, you know, God created the stars, but I didn't realize that signs was there. But I also can see that that can be interpreted differently, right? Like if, if I'm someone who reads the Bible and I'm someone who goes to church and hears that scripture, I'm not thinking of signs in a way where it's connected to astrology. Sorry. I might just think of signs in a way where God is speaking through the signs of the time. So exactly. I would love for you to kind of break that down. Like, how do you make that connection clear to someone who's like, that's not what that means. Exactly. Okay. Thank you for saying this because this is the most important thing. And this is why I have to stress that the people who are going to tell you that's not what that means, have zero experience reading astrology. So logically speaking, just logically speaking, they, if I don't know, if I've never in my entire life read a, a, a periodic table of elements, I cannot tell you what chemistry is. Does that make sense? Like mm -hmm. if I've never ever read that, it's, it's folly. So you have people with their prejudice, which I was there too. Like I was that Christian that was like, you're going to hell if you don't read the Bible, because I really thought that that's what I was supposed to do. Like we're really indoctrinated to kind of do this. A lot of people mean well. And this is where I learned. And this is why you read in the Bible, Jesus, we heal the sick in your name. And Jesus is like, I don't know you mm -hmm. because, you know, being a Christian isn't about the philosophy. It's about the practice. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have to say the verse of in the New Testament about when Peter was criticized about eating unclean meat and the Pharisee and, and like his friends in the faith were like, yo, this is what the Bible says. You're not supposed to do this. And God was like, tell them what I say is clean is not unclean. It's, it's about what God guides you to do. Right. But like the reason why I have understanding is though people who say that's not what it means, they don't know astrology. And so the signs are, as you say, too, signs of wonders and the times. But even in the New Testament, it even says you'll be seeing signs in the sky. In the book of Daniel, they sealed up the seals. Daniel saw the future and, and the archangel was like, yo, seal that up. When it's time, they'll see signs in the sky. Mm -hmm. Astrology is the language of how God communicates to people. And so if anything, it's the devil spinning that narrative to make you believe astrology is evil. So you don't look at the signs. It's literally the word of God. If you think of astrology as the language of the universe in that everything that God made was good. So God knew the end from the beginning. You see this through astrology. The transits that travel are faithful. The sun moves a degree every day faithfully. And the transits and the sequence of the transit are a chronological movement of time. It's literally like a, a space clock. Breathe.